when I hit the runner's wall for my very first marathon, I remember digging down into my thoughts about how the scientists and physicians did not give up on me. I cannot give up in the middle of a marathon. I'm Aubrey Adam Barr, and I've been running with Fred's team for 25 years. I run every year with Fred's team because I made a commitment to continue until I couldn't. I was four years old when I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The prognosis was really six months to live. My whole life was made possible by the work being done at Memorial Sloan Kettering. I started running when I was in college. Running is something that healthy people do. So I think it was my ultimate test and proof to myself that my years being unwell were behind me. So I found a marathon, and in the acceptance letter was information asking if I would consider raising money for Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center during my marathon run. To run and raise money for the hospital that saved my life, it unleashed the most joyful feeling I could ever have imagined. So many people's lives have been touched by cancer. Fred's team gives you the opportunity to do something about it. 2020 marks the 25th anniversary of Fred's team. Our group is in honor of Fred Lebo, co-founder of the New York City Marathon. When he was stricken with cancer, he encouraged everybody to support the hospital that was giving him the treatment, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Since we began 25 years ago in 1995, Fred's team has grown exponentially. People meet and become friends and frankly, lifelong friends. It's an experience as much as it is a team. Our coaches and our coaching mentors hold all of these people together. And they are absolutely the reason that our team has been able to grow successfully and keep that special feeling. Running in New York City is just a fabulous experience. It's enormously gratifying to look around and within a few feet of you is another one or two or three people wearing the Fred's team shirt. But the most meaningful moment for me is running up First Avenue past the hospital building where I was treated. Mile 17 is probably eight to 10 people deep of friends and family and people cheering for Fred's team runners. It's a wave of endorphins that wash over you and lift up your feet and remind you that 26.2 miles is a short distance compared to the journey that a cancer patient is on. I will never stop running. <laughs> the debt of gratitude that I can pay by doing a marathon is something that I'm committed to for the rest of my life.